Hey guys, Mechanic CG here and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport. Today is episode number 18. If you guys do enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. Okay, we are starting off the first of the championship series. We got uh, the Class D championship. So the difference between the last events is they were races, single races. This one, you actually are forced to go through every event one by one um, before you get to the end of it. So we're starting off with the Class D Championship. Start off in New York, move on to Silverstone, Road Atlanta, Maple Valley, Sakuba Circuit, and then Alpine Ring. Let's get going. All right, here we go. Lancia Delta around New York. This is going to be actually quite an uh, enjoyable race. We've got uh, some form of acceleration, I guess. Mm. Mm. It comes and it... Oh, God. So I find this car really cool, the fact that it's got square mirrors. I think that's pretty cool. It really goes with the shape of the car. <laughs> it's a very uh, square design, if I'm going to be honest. We got six laps around here, which is going to be absolutely marvellous. It's absolutely spiffing, lad. I really got to try and grow my beard out. I got to get it to grow more. Lovely. Lap number one done. 118. Not bad. Not bad for a standing start. Ooh, slip around that corner there. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, not bad. Got around that hairpin corner fairly nicely. I don't know why I like... I prefer the old Virgin logo where it's just handwriting. The weird infinite symbol shenanigans just looks weird. I oh, do you know, I saw a TikTok the other day, right, chat? So, there was a TikTok... And it was on about how um, some of these free-to-play games are going to have billboards in them that have advertising on them. And people were like, I don't want advertising in my game. What are you on about? But the thing is, <laughs> look at this. You've got Mazda advertising. You've got Bosch advertising. You've got MSN advertising. Granted, it's a Microsoft thing, but... You've got PIAA there. You've got um, MSN. You've got McDonald's. You've got so many. Toys R Us. Toys R Us don't even exist anymore. They're still getting free advertising pretty much. Advertising for a company that doesn't exist. HKS. Virgin. I don't know if I said that already. You've got all this advertising here. But it doesn't... You don't notice it. I like... Games. Paid games have been advertising in them for years. To make sure the game is actually cheaper for the consumer. Like you think. Forza Motorsport has always had advertising on the side of tracks. That was not intended. 
But yeah, Forza's always had advertising on tracks. And Forza's always been a $49.99 game. But Horizon has always been a $59.99 game. Probably because it doesn't have advertising on the side. That's why it's a little more expensive. But, right, there are classic games where advertising is, like, super obvious and no one complained about it. Like, oh, I'm trying to think what it was. Burnout Paradise. The original Burnout Paradise had a van that would drive around, a little Gillette van. And it, um, it was obviously advertising. It was advertising razors. And um, I think there were quite a few billboards. I think Need for Speed Most Wanted 2012 had a lot of billboards that had advertising on it. Like, advertising is common as hell in these video games nowadays. And even back in the old days. But for some reason, it just seemed to have died out a little bit. And that's why games got more expensive. And now, all of a sudden, games are saying, oh, let's put them back in. And people are like, oh, I don't like it. That's why I think uh, most of these gamers nowadays, these kids that are, like, growing up with new games, really miss out. And especially growing up with free-to-play games. Like, we all grew up with paid games. We had to go to a store, buy our disc that we wanted, and we enjoyed it, no matter what it was. Now it just seems like, oh, you buy a game, you spend 20 quid on it. It's it just, ugh. new games aren't what they used to be. I found a video it's how to do it. I hope they patched it. Hopefully they can patch, patch it, but it's epic games. If it doesn't affect their money, they're not really going to put as much focus on it. Fair enough. Cheers for that, Sheldon. I'll have a look at it later. But yeah, Epic Games isn't the kind of company that will go around and try and fix something. So, it allows you to fight 99 bots. Well, do you know what? I want that. I want that as an option so I can go into Fortnite and actually like have a good game. Because the only reason I hate Fortnite is because there's so many sweaty kids in it. I've not got a single Fortnite win. And I've played a good 250 games of Fortnite. Granted, I haven't played Fortnite in about three years, but still. It's the same with um, Warzone. I got two wins on Warzone. Both of them were in groups. Like, Battle Royale is the worst game multiplayer game mode out there it's so poor there we go 21 grand we got level 28 so we got a uh, modified and club sport weight reduction upgrades are 15 percent off not bad and we got a uh, 10 points let's go all right let's do this i do find it funny though that fortnite they literally removed the one feature that made them unique oh no Oh, no. Chat, I'm in trouble. I've just started this race and my headset's died. I've got no audio. Ah. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. This is actually really, really bad. Because I've got no engine noise now. It's like driving the Ferrari again. Let's chuck them over there. It's gonna get the glitch done where it says custom text that says get wrecked. <laughs> Imagine. See, I put lol get memed on. Or something like that. Something cringe. This is really weird. I've got no audio. There's no audio, no audio for me to listen to the game.
It's really weird, because my gameplay goes through... Um, through my capture card. The audio then goes to my OBS. Uh, well, it goes to my voice meter, which my voice meter then outputs it to OBS and also outputs it to my headphones. So that's the only reason I can use headphones while on console. Because uh, the Xbox 360 doesn't actually have... It's a hilarious glitch when your engine sounds electric. Is it doing it again? Honestly, this game is... I obviously can't hear it. But uh, multiple times... Um, this game has made cars sound electric. Like, this game was inventing electric cars before electric cars became popular. <laughs> Back in 2005. But more than likely, it's probably just an emulation glitch. Because, um, this happened to my friend on Need for Speed. Ah, oh, Need for Speed, that was the game that did it a lot for me. Yeah. Yeah, I remember. Oh. Do you know, they're actually keeping up, which is kind of concerning. Yeah, uh, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. Or, actually, Need for Speed Most Wanted 2012. Favourite Need for Speed for me. Guaranteed. Hands down. Oh, no. The thingy, um... Behind just absolutely fucked up. So hilarious, though, when your Mustang sounds like a Tesla. The Mustang is the worst one in this game. Because the Mustang does not have any engine noise whatsoever in this game. I think the Ferrari as well was bugging out until it hit, like, low revs as well. The Ferrari was doing it earlier. I think it's just absolutely crazy, though, in this game. I do hope that the next Forza game allows for engine swaps and electric engine swaps. Would be nice to have, like, a Tesla option or stuff like that. That could be a cool thing to see in Forza Motorsport 8. Oi! Get the fuck back. Yeah, that's what I thought. Prick. I can't hear anything either, so I can't tell when he's coming up my behind. I'm kind of just having to rely on the look back thing. Because you can use your ears and closely resemble... Oh, well, there's no car in front, but I can hear a second engine, so clearly there's a car behind. You can sort of suss that out as you're driving along. I accidentally pressed the handbrake. Oh my god, he's aggressive. So uh, this track apparently is not very good. Or this car is not very good for straight line speed. Which I mean, it's fair enough. Which means that I've got two laps to try and defend. And I have to win, by the way. So 100% this, I have to win all these events. Please. It's snowing. Jesus Christ. You know, I hate... I like it when it snows. Because it's beautiful. It's like a... The coolest looking natural thing. But here's the problem. When it snows, it's fucking cold. And I don't like it when it's really fucking cold. <laughs> Some people like it when it's cold, but... Oh, yeah, it's almost May, so... If it snows in the... I think it snowed, um... Oh, you ball bag. Get back here. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, no... What have you done? How have you gotten away with that? Now nah, you're not getting away with that. I'm trying to spin my car out. Prick. Get back here. I've still got no audio. Man, this is difficult. Oh, we got a really good exit out of that corner there. I crash into the back of him? 
We'll go up the inside. Like that. That's how it's done. Now the Honda's on my ass. No. Push your Honda away. There you go. That's how it's done. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no, no, we got the yellow car. Get the fuck. Oh my Jesus Christ. Oh, that is horrendous. I don't like it at all. <laughs> I did not like that. That was seven minutes of pain. <sighs> Let's get a replay around Silverstone for this one. All right, Road Atlanta, race number three. I really, really hate these championships because of how intense they are. Oh, and these different headphones are horrendous because the audio delay is ridiculously long. It's like a second and a half. I told you too many times. Okay, so there are parts of this track where this car is excelling. We've got six laps around this shithole. I really... I don't know, I'm not a great fan of Road Atlanta. It's weird. It's a weird circuit. A lot of American tracks are weird. I don't mind the S-Benz or this hairpin, but uh, it doesn't do it for me as much as other tracks. I think it's one of the better American tracks, but as a track in a whole, uh, it's not ideal. I love this song, by the way. Oh no, it's the end of the song. Oh, I'm sad. It's brilliant. It's called Two Minds, by the way, by Nero. It's actually in uh, Forza Horizon 3, so we might hear that song just naturally get played in gameplay. Actually, I won't be able to because I've got to turn all the music off in all the games. Oh, this is the uh, their new remix. Okay, I'll take it. I have a feeling the next Nero album is going to be a lot of trap tunes. Do, 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 do. Their style sort of twisted towards that direction. There's nothing wrong with it. It's pretty sick, but... I'm going to have to after this one. I'm going to put Lullaby on as the next song. Because that song is sick. Not bad. Not bad at all.
Coolio. Right. Uh, do you know what it um what this track actually looks like? It looks like an acorn. It does actually now that I look at it. Oh crap. There we go, not bad. Alright, we got two more laps. Two more laps to go. Two more laps to go. Fuck yeah, two more laps to go. Woohoo! Ah, come on. I know what you're gonna say. I told you too many times. Oh wow, this this is a tune. All right, those cars behind are slightly catching up. I've just noticed the fuel gauge actually goes down during even normal events. Did not notice that. I thought that only went down in endurance, but uh, clearly not. I am legally blind, clearly. Not bad. Come on, we got this. Let's get this done. There we go. Coming around the final corner. Jazz hands in the air. Ta-da! 735, not bad. 21 grand, I'll take it. All right, let's do this. I've uh, officially lost the back of my chair. It's gone. So we've got nine laps of this to do. Man for you and I. I love that this song was made specifically for an album for Ninja back in 2018. It was called Volume 1, which comes under the impression that he was going to make a Volume 2. And a Volume 2 never came around, which is kind of funny. But at least we got an actual decent song out of that album, which is this one from Nero. This was never meant for you and I. I'm going to have to change my um, dono goal to a uh, new chair. Fuck. Fuck. 
I'm gonna have to look, have a look, see um how long the warranty is on the Amazon listing, because if it says two years, then we should be good. I should be able to get another one. I'll actually do that after this race. Have a look at my Amazon listing. And see if it says two years warranty. Because if it does, I'll get a free chair. I have as much of an idea as you do, which is none. <laughs> I have no clue how it's just broken. Like it did it um, last night, the bottom screw broke, which meant it started twisting. And then because there was no bottom screw, the top screw just died as well, it just snapped out. I'm hoping, I might have a look, see if it's just a bolt that's gone wrong, then I can just unscrew it and screw in a new bolt I have to do some fancy stuff to get the if it's the bolt that snapped that is if it's not the bolt that snapped ooh then I got no clue Dance, dance, dance till you're dead. Heads will roll. Heads will roll. Heads will roll. On the floor. It's not that song. <laughs> it sounds like it though. It goes, ah ah. Bow da bow. Yeah, I'm I'm excited for the new test drive as well. It's gonna be awesome, but the problem is the game is due to come out in four months time. And we haven't had a single bit of gameplay for it. Now, sure, they could be trying to not hype the game up like a majority of developers should be doing. But a lot of game developers just give us gameplay like a year before the game even comes out. So I'm kind of concerned that it may get delayed. I doubt it. Because I've never seen Nacon actually delay a game. But at the same time, I don't know. It would be nice to see some gameplay within three months of the game coming out to start hyping it up. Give us some more details about the game. Because obviously we know the game is existing. I'm still a strong believer that games shouldn't be announced until a month before their release date. So that people don't get hyped up. But game developers will never do that. Because for some reason it apparently makes them more money. Which it doesn't. You probably earn more money if you just give a month's notice. But... Oh no, it will have online. The whole point of Test Drive was the fact that it had the best online out of all of the games. If it doesn't have online, it's not going to feel like Test Drive. I would be extremely surprised if they don't have an online mode for Test Drive. Uh, uh, off with your head. Dance, dance, dance till you're dead. 
Good old Nero. This is like drum and bass back from like 2009. I love old drum and bass, I don't know why. At the moment I'm loving like 2006 to 2009 era drum and bass. And there we go. Seven minutes and eight seconds. Not bad. 21 grand. Take it. Sukuba. The Koopa's a nice circuit. I like it. But... I don't know whether I like it for eight laps in a slow car. But, then again, this this track is sort of designed for slow cars anyway, so I think it's... I think it should be... Acceptable. Yeah, this track, now that I think about it, hasn't been changed in 15 years. It could do with a little bit of a rework. Maybe extend the track out a little bit into there, potentially. Because you could quite easily... Sakuba, I think, would be quite cool if instead of having the hairpin as the first corner, it was a 90 degree right and it went down into that back bit a little bit. And then it did a U-turn and then came back up to where, the, where it then goes to. I think that would be pretty cool. Like, if it went straight on here, did a U-turn and then joined the track back on here, for example... I think that would actually be quite a nice redo of the circuit. To shuffle it up a bit. Because it can obviously still keep the old route as well. It just adds a little bit something different. I suppose. Because obviously you've still got the motorbike track. You've got the green bit there, which is the short track. Even though the track is still pretty short anyways. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to check Amazon and see what the, um, the policy for the listing is. Because I think a year and a bit, a year and four months for a chair to last is a bit too short for my liking. This is not by Nero. This is not Nero the Thrill. This is a remix or something. This isn't an original song. Yo, Matrix, what up? Welcome. How are you today? We're uh, recording for YouTube today, Matrix. Playing uh, some Forza Motorsport 1. We're in the middle of a championship and we're going to uh, hopefully win. That's good to hear, Matrix. Good to hear you're doing good. I like hardcore music. What kind of hardcore? Like dance hardcore, like the bam 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 that kind of shit. Or <laughs> I'm not into that kind of hardcore, but I like heavier music. I like heavy, but not like just. I I, I don't like that because it doesn't have a vibe to it. There's no beat. There's no vibe. You can't like. This is a chill vibe, this kind of song. But yeah, you can't really vibe with hard hardcore that much. I don't think, anyways. Oh, this is Two Minds Dimension Remix. It's a good one, but I don't want to play it yet. Oh, 
Oh, this is a good song. Give this a listen. This is uh, Satisfied by uh, Nero. This is a good one. Can no one catch your eyes? Is the music loud enough, by the way, chat? Or do we need to turn it up a bit? Turn it up a tad. Ooh. Alright, we're coming up to the halfway mark for this event. Let me satisfy. I think this is actually the same song as my raid song as well. What a tune. What a tune. Such a good song. There's so many good songs that I know. So many good songs. I can feel it tonight. And no one catch your eyes. Not bad. Come on, we got this. We got this. I'm blue, dab a dee, dab a die. Oh Jesus, Jacob! Eighteen next year. That's a that's a big one. Eighteen, twenty, and twenty-one are like three big years. Because eighteen is when you're legally an adult. Twenty is when you're out of your teens. And twenty-one is like it's it's just twenty-one. I don't know what the importance of 21 is compared to like 20, because I thought 20 should have been like a bigger day, but everyone celebrates the 21st more, so. Banana manam Banana manam Banana manam Let me satisfy 18 in 2023 Let's see Alright, and that's that done. We just got under the nine minute mark. Oh!
Right, let's get a uh, Sakuba thumbnail. Let's go. Not bad. 21 count, 21 grand. Nice. All right, Alpine Ring. This is the uh, last one of this championship, I believe. Yes, this song is called Let's Get Naughty. It's brilliant. It's MDMA. Let's get naughty. <laughs> This is such a tune. Oh, the cars are going wide. They've all gone wide. I love making grind, but drum and bass, I love it to bits. <laughs> this is such a good song. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Traumatic is one of those artists that I will just be like, wow. How does it exist? <laughs> right, I'll put the... <laughs> oh, it's just the lyrics. The lyrics are dumb in this that song. Takes time and I'm back you from the side. <laughs> Takes time. He MC rapper. Yeah, he probably is an MC, to be honest. I think it's more yeah. But it's just how you make songs like that. It's just crazy. It's like Eminem but on steroids. And always talks about his penis a lot. <laughs> Joe, I'm highly tempted to swap over from um, chat actually listening to the title music and actually listening to it through voice meter because voice meter has a little bit of uh, audio customization. I don't know whether that would sound better on stream. Little bit of bass boosting. But I don't know. Takes time to heal. Do you know, it's actually really good seeing um, Swedish House Mafia actually making a return to music. That just makes me extremely happy. Extremely happy. Like, I grew up with Swedish House Mafia as an option to listen to. And I listened to the, sh the hell of it. I listened to so much of it, it was ridiculous. Takes time to heal. Takes time to know where your heart is at. Don't forget to uh, share the stream out. Send it to your friends. Let's see if we can get two more followers today. Get that uh, follow goal for the day. And to heal. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wow. We've got two more laps of this track to go. I love this track. And I ri See, Alpine Ring was the one track that I di don't think actually survived moving from um, Xbox OG to um, 
Xbox 360. I think a lot of the custom tracks in this game, all the real tracks, I think, moved over. But the custom ones, the fake ones, I think the only ones that moved over were Test Track and Maple Valley. I think. Obviously, number two, I believe they added um, Magello as an option, I think, if I'm not mistaken. And Magello's been in Forza since Motorsport 2. Takes time to heal. Takes time to know where your heart is at. Takes a man to be real. That is a chew. Honestly, such a chew. I think we need more vibes. I also need to shift down. Get some culture shock on. Brrr, badam. Take it down to the bunker. <laughs> What's with the dots, Aaron? <laughs> Take it down to the bunker. I think I need to double check um, if my front fans are spinning. If my front fans are spinning, it means my CPU is getting a bit warm. If they're not spinning, it means it's cold. Sort of. Imagine driving with hardcore music blasting. Not a chance in hell. <laughs> 21 grand there. Not bad. Not bad at all. I think we're done with this as well. Give me my car, please. It's a Mustang GT500. I don't know why. I don't like it. I don't want it. Can I get rid of it? Can I bin it? So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like. Comment down below and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.